Further tribute, the member from Oshawa. Thank you, Speaker. It is always our honour to stand in this proud legislature and talk about issues that matter to the people of Ontario. And sometimes, like today, we have the opportunity to stand and speak about individuals who have mattered to us provincially and personally. I am honoured to stand and pay tribute and remember Cindy Nicholas. First, I would like to welcome her family and friends to the legislature today. Welcome to Leanne Legro and her father, Raymond Legro. They are joined today by Cindy's cousins, Gail Wheeler and Pam Dornan, and friends Marcia Simmons and Shoshana Teitelman. Welcome to Queen's Park. When we pay tribute to former MPPs, it is a chance to remember them, to recognize their work, and celebrate their lasting impact. It is also a special chance to connect with their loved ones. So thank you to Cindy's only daughter, Leanne, for sharing some of her very special memories. Many of us remember Cindy Nicholas as being the legendary and record-breaking marathon open water swimmer. Cindy swam across Lake Ontario from Youngstown, New York, to the CNE in Toronto when she was just 16 years old. She dived into the lake at 16 and, in that moment, into the public eye. She was the very first woman to complete a non-stop two-way crossing of the English Channel in 1977, finishing with the fastest time of any male or female swimmer. She was known as the Queen of the Channel because she swam the Channel 19 times. Cindy was well recognized for her athletic achievement, being named Top Female Athlete of the Year in 1977 and given the Bobby Rosenfeld Award. She was made a member of the Order of Canada in 1979 and was inducted into Canada's Sports Hall of Fame in 1993, inducted into the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame in 2003, and into the International Swimming Hall of Fame in 2005. She always liked to swim and was a very competitive person and wanted to be good at everything. She was always encouraged by her father, Jim, and her parents were wonderful supporters and made sure she had all the opportunities she could. Throughout Cindy's life, whenever she was in the water, they were right alongside her in the boat. It seemed that her father also really enjoyed Cindy's opportunities. She was in law school, and her father said, Cindy, there is an opportunity for a race in Egypt. But Cindy said, Daddy, I don't really want to swim in the Nile. But Dad thought Egypt was a pretty neat opportunity. Then she did end up swimming in the Nile with him alongside her, which does sound like a pretty special adventure. Cindy was very close to her parents. She grew up in Scarborough and Cliffcrest. She grew up there, made lifelong friends there, worked there, and knew she wanted to represent it. She was elected to the Ontario Legislature in 1987 to serve her neighbours and constituents in the riding of Scarborough Centre. She was a Liberal MPP who served as Parliamentary Assistant to the Solicitor General from 1989 to 1990. Cindy was elected in 1987, and Leanne was born in 1988. While she doesn't remember much from that time, her very first family picture was proudly taken on the steps of Queen's Park. Cindy remembered fondly that she used to take, excuse me, used to tote Leanne around with her, and when the bells would ring and she'd have to come into the chamber, she'd have to hand Leanne off to whomever was closest, and afterwards come out of the chamber and have to ask, who's got Leanne? <laughs> Apparently, uh, even back in the late 80s, traffic was a challenge. Cindy and Leanne spent a lot of time sitting on the DVP singing songs in the car. Cindy loved her community. There were about four blocks between her home and constituency office and another block to her parents. She actively and wholeheartedly represented her riding. She was always proud of her time at Queen's Park, and at the end of her term in 1990, she continued to be an active participant in her community. She was a lawyer, and her office was right around the corner from the grocery store and her church, and she couldn't go anywhere without connecting with someone. She was well-known and well-respected by her clients and neighbours. She inspired others. Scarborough thought so much of her, and she thought so much of her community. Cindy became a member of the Scarborough Walk of Fame at the Scarborough Town Centre in 2006 as one of the first people recognized for sports achievement. She was later on the nomination committee because she grew up there, she knew the community, and she wanted to be active in recognizing the good folks from the area who deserved recognition for making Scarborough great. She was so proud of the community and wanted big things for it. In fact, she always said they needed a bigger pool in the East End. She was so excited to finally see that happen with the Pan Am Centre. Speaker, Cindy always had big goals, a big heart, but also a big pool. Generally, people have about a 30-foot pool, but their family pool in, Cliff in Cliffcrest was a 52-footer. She never lost her love of swimming, and in her retirement, she still swam a couple miles a day. She continued to give back and connect. She dedicated much of her time to her dear mother, Victoria, 
and to volunteering across Scarborough, appreciating the needs and strengths across the community she knew so well and loved so much. Cindy Nicholas was sadly lost to her family, community, and to the province too soon at the age of 58 after a battle with cancer. Thank you to her family and friends for sharing her with us. We offer our sincerest condolences. To those who knew Cindy in real life, those who knew Cindy in real life are richer for knowing her, and those who knew Cindy as larger than life were inspired by her. Cindy Nicholas dived into our hearts at 16, made waves throughout her life, and her love, strength, and authentic spirit will forever send ripples throughout our province. Thank you. Thank you.